What's up my VR bears and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Blade and Sorcery Nomad on your Oculus Quest 2. For this tutorial, you're going to need your Quest 2, a PC, preferably with a Windows operating system. However, you are able to do this with other operating systems, it'll just be a little bit different. You'll also need a cable capable of connecting your Quest to your PC or laptop of choice. And then lastly, you'll need a copy of Blade and Sorcery Nomad. As always, modding can be harmful to your game saves as well as your device, so mod at your own risk. However, with that being said, you can always factory reset, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to back up your game files, that way you won't mess anything up even if the modding goes south. So with that being said, let's just hop into it. For starters, you're going to want to get side quest. Getting side quest is as simple as just going to your web browser of choice, searching side quest, going to the side quest homepage, clicking download up top, finding the version that you need for your operating system. In my case, it's Windows. However, if you're on a Mac, it will be Mac and then clicking download. Once the installer has downloaded, run the installer and finish the installation of SideQuest. The next step requires you to have your headset connected to your PC. So take that wire we talked about earlier, plug it into your PC and plug the other end into your Quest. Put on your headset and you should see two prompts. The first should say allow access click allow access and the second one should ask you to allow ADB debugging. In order to get the allow ADB debugging pop-up, you're going to need two things. The first is that you need developer mode turned on for your account. In order to do this, you need to create an organization through the Oculus website and then go to your Oculus app and turn on developer mode. Linked up in the top right with the I or down the description is my video of how to do that. However, that video is slightly outdated. I am working on a new one, but you'll kind of have to figure it out on your own. Once you've turned on developer mode, if you still are not receiving the pop-up, you may need to update the ADB drivers that are on your PC. To do this, just Google ADB drivers and get the latest update. Moving along, once you've accepted both of those pop-ups, you should see a green dot up in the top left of your side quest. Now that your headset is connected and you are able to access it through SideQuest, you can head up to My Apps up in the top right. From there, head to the search bar and search for Blade and Sorcery. Once located, click on the cog next to Blade and Sorcery in order to open its settings. Now with the settings open, you're going to want to click Back Up APK as well as Back Up Game Files. Up in the top right, you should see a pink little box with a number in it telling you the tasks you have running. You can click on that pink box to get updated on how far along your tasks are, but you have to wait for all of those to be completed before moving on. Once those have completed, feel free to close down side quest. You have just finished creating the backups for your game. With that out of the way, let's move on to modding. This next step is going to be different depending on what operating system you're running. However, I'm running Windows, so I'll be showing how to do it with Windows. If you're running it on Mac OS or on Linux, the file directories may be different. It's going to be the same exact file directories. However, accessing them will be different. Open up Windows Explorer and then head down in the description of this video and copy the directory pasted in there. Once you've copied that, go ahead and paste that into your Windows Explorer in order to get to the Blade and Sorcery directory. Once you're here, you can close down your Windows Explorer and then click the next link in the description which will take you to the page where you can get your mods. Before you're able to get mods, you'll have to create an account on the website first. To do that, go and click register up in the top right. From there, you can then put in your email and set up your account as you would with any other website. Once you've registered, you can then log in. Once you're logged in, you can head back to this link. There currently aren't many mods for the quest. However, you can get some right off the bat, which is fairly impressive since the game's only been out for around two weeks. In this video, I will be showcasing the One Punch mod. This mod basically just means that if you hit an enemy with your fist in one punch, they will instantly die. To do this, I'm gonna click on the mod and then I'm gonna to proceed to download the mod. 
Once the mod is downloaded, I'm gonna drag the zip to my desktop. You don't have to do this, it's just easier to show it off if I drag it to my desktop. Once on my desktop, I'm going to extract it in order to get the file that I have to implement in order to get the mod. Once extracted, you can see there's two files. One file that's just a text document that tells you how to install the mod and another one which you'll actually need to use in order to get the mod. Feel free to read through that text document. However, it's just going to repeat everything I'm saying in this video. Take the second file, the JSONDB, and then drag and drop that into your Windows Explorer folder. A pop-up will appear asking you to either copy and replace the file or to skip over that file. Click copy and replace. This will replace the vanilla game file with the new modded file. Once you've done that, give it a couple seconds and then feel free to disconnect your headset from your PC. From there, all you need to do is hop into Blade & Sorcery. Your mod should be activated already. You can just hop in and start using it. Every mod works differently, some you might need to toggle, so just make sure you read through the description on the website while you download it. With that being said, as you can see on screen, I am showcasing the One Punch mod, just absolutely obliterating these bots right now. And that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more tutorials or ways to mod your game, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell as I do live stream games on occasion. If you want to go above and beyond, you can become a channel member and get special perks like seeing some old videos as well as suggesting video ideas as well as seeing tutorials you might need or want. Along with that, you also get cool badges and emotes to use during our live streams. Thank you to my current channel members, you guys are absolute mad lads, from my mama bears all the way to my little lettuces, you guys mean the world for supporting the channel. With that being said, have fun stabbing away your pain, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.